students today we are discussing about a simple shortcut method in electricity okay so there is one theorem called as millman's theorem i think uh, most of you have not, uh, not heard about this what do you mean by this millman's theorem it will make the complex problem in an easier way we need not apply any kirchhoff's voltage law kirchhoff's current law which are going to be very complex in solving the problems and they are going to be wasting a lot of your time nearly 3 to 4 5 minutes you are going to waste by using kirchhoff's law but i am discussing about one more law that is called as millman's theorem this will help you to solve the problem in only 1 hour less than 1 minute okay so let us discuss here so what is millman's theorem let us consider this is a complex circuit in which uh, there are emfs uh, th th these are the three batteries connected here one battery connected to resistance r1 another battery connected to resistance r2 here another battery is connected to resistance r3 there are three batteries three resistances but how can you uh, discuss about millman's theorem what is a millman's theorem if you want to find out the voltage across this type of complex circuits how are you going to find out the voltage here so there is one formula according to ohm's law you know this is going to be v is equal to ir okay if this is v is equal to ir you can just modify this formula you can write i you can write this as 1 by r okay so this r i am writing 1 by r because anyhow it is going to become ir only and uh, after that what i am going to do i am going to write i is equal to e by r here okay so this i which is in the numerator i am going to write it as e by r so if it is the case here then the formula will become e by r by 1 by r so e by r by 1 by r so with the help of this formula you can solve any complex circuit now what does millman's theorem says let us discuss about that so this is going to be e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 plus e3 by r3 whole divided by 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 this is called as millman's theorem by using this theorem you can solve any complex circuit okay so let us uh, consider this circuit now if you observe this circuit how to find out the current across two ohms so you have to find out the current across these two ohms how are you going to find out the current across these two ohms this is the question here this is the modified circuit of this one so that you can apply millman's theorem and solve the problem of this type of complex circuits now what are you going to do here so this circuit you are changing little bit this four ohms you are shifting here this one ohm you are shifting here so that these three are parallel now we are converting this circuit into this circuit so that we can apply millman's theorem which i have written here so how are you going to find out the voltage across the circuit here it's very simple to find out the voltage across the circuit this voltage you need to find out here also so how are you going to find out the voltage now let us see here for example this is the voltage across this circuit for finding this voltage here you need to apply millman's theorem it's very simple here e1 by r1 what is e1 here that is going to be 32 by 4 plus here as there is no cell here so there is no emf here you can write it as 0 by 2 okay so this is the answer here this is not given previously only 2 ohms is given so 0 by 2 and here you can write e3 e3 is nothing but 6 by 1 here whole divided by 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 plus 1 by r3 this is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 2 plus this is 1 by 1 here okay so after solving this one so v is equal to 8 this is 0 so this is going to be 8 plus 6 here and here lcm if you take it as 4 so how much you are going to get this is 1 this is 2 and this is going to be 4 here so voltage is equal to how much you are going to get here this is 14 into 4 this comes to numerator then after that this is going to be 7 here so 7 in the denominator 7 1 7 2's so 8 volts you are getting so what is the voltage across this circuit 8 volts what does it mean here also 8 volts here also 8 volts this here also totally so voltage across this is also 12 volts voltage across this is also 12 volts i mean 8 volts this is also 8 volts and this is also 8 volts 
so if the voltages are same here is it not easy to find out the current across this circuit now so how are you going to find out the current here i is equal to v by r that's it you got the answer it's very simple so what is v here 8 and r is going to be 2 so answer is 4 amperes so how much time i have taken less than 1 minute if you do this problem then you can save a lot of time it will take nearly 3 to 5 minutes if you apply Kirchhoff's law but I am solving this problem in less than 1 minute if you say okay so thank you very much